Hey everyone, I'm Darren, a.k.a. Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel. And welcome to another episode of Wild and Funny News. We got crazy, some crazy, crazy stories. Crazy, crazy. Dude, we do. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, you look cute. Well, I tried. I put on a black t shirt. And I got ACDC. Rock on! Rock on, Rock on I love ACDC. Yeah, good stuff. What's one of your, one of your favorite bands? Oh, dude, I loved Aria Speedwagon. Oh good. my goodness. Back in the 80s, that shows my age, but I went to see them in concert several times. And Rick Springfield. Oh, Debbie, did you love that Rick Springfield? That was my very first yes. concert. Was that, that your man? I went to yes. General Hospital. Rick Springfield. Went to see him a couple of years ago, too. Right. Uh -huh. And he still looks good to be in his 70s. Fine. Woo. <laughs> I was getting a fight at the Rick Springfield concert. Good times. Really? Mm hmm. Was it have anything to do with seating arrangements? No, it had to do with this slutty young thing trying to barrel her way to the front when it was Elbow standing around. room only. She's mm. like, but it's my birthday. I was like, I don't give a shit. I'm a slut. Yeah. 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 Dang, girl, you rough. Yeah. I was always a big fan of CCR. Love me some clean, yeah. clean spray water bottle. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, Squirrely Whirly, what are you working on over there, honey? I know you got uh, something good uh, up in here. A woman accused of bringing dead uncle to bank <laughs> to withdraw some, some money. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Police in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, mm. arrested a woman Tuesday for allegedly wheeling her dead uncle into a bank to withdraw $3,000. Okay. The uncle had already been approved for the loan, okay? And so she just wheeled his little dead corpse right on in there. The bank worker reportedly took a video of the corpse in the wheelchair being supported by the woman. The woman is seen continuously propping up the man's head oh my while God. he keeps slumping over. <laughs> yeah. At one point, she can be seen trying to get a pen into the dead man's hand my to, sign a, to sign a paper. Yeah. When paramedics arrived, they determined the man had been dead for several hours. The family's lawyer disputes that, saying that he arrived at the bank alive. <laughs> Investigators have not said what the charges the woman will face yet, but um, but yeah, she, the, so she had or he had already been approved for the loan, and she just you know the bank just needed the elderly man's signature. Oh my gosh! So she just, oh. You know, we've we've done several stories like that before. We actually covered one on the radio the other day where someone had done that, and they even it was like a weekend at Bernie's type deal, yeah. like with the, you know the guys. In yeah. fact, one incident they even dressed up one him up pretty much like as the weekend at Bernie's. Uh, there was another situation where they went through a drive-through and had the corpse sitting in the seat beside him, and was like, ah, oh, this is him, and I was just. Crazy. Well, it says, um, the, she's like, Uncle, are you listening? She says to him, you need to sign. Oh, my If you don't gosh. sign, there's no way. I can't sign for you. It has to be you. Oh, my gosh. Sign it. You need she to clearly sign. wasn't upset with the, his him being dead. <laughs> and then she, mean, she looks at the banker, and she's like, it looks like he's not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little cold at the time. <laughs> I think he has the pneumonias. <laughs> just not feeling well. Yeah, so, um... He's got a little case so, of the rig of memorials. <laughs> Come on, Frank, Even you can do it. Even though his are stiff. Yeah. Come on, son. So, uh, you said paramedics out there and, and seen they were able to determine that he had actually died several hours before. Yeah. Wow. Wow. She was probably well, his wheeling his the ass to the bank really f <laughs> Imagine okay. getting pulled over. I pulled you over today I'm for taking speeding my dad into your uncle license. To sign, sir, sign that loan. Sir, I'm going to need your license too. So sir, sign, sir, sign that loan. That's wow. crazy. Well, wow. we're going to switch gears from uh, corp wielding thieves to rapist. <laughs> you know, Tennessee's got some wild stories coming out of here recently right. with uh, people with foreign with others. Florida. Tennessee yeah, and Florida. Yeah, kind, of, yeah, kind of like crazy stories coming out of there. Yeah, person. Uh, well, there's you know, the police officer there that had sex with the entire police department, and then yeah. uh, some of the educators uh, have yeah. been uh, been gotten a wag of the finger for doing some nasty, dirty things. Well, this is another one. Uh, Alyssa McCommon entered the courtroom holding what appeared to be a baby bump. She's pregnant, and who by? Probably one of her students. She's married, had kids of her own, nice home, nice little family, an educator. 
Nice teacher, a little too nice. Apparently she has fornicated with many of her students, aging everywhere from 12 to 17. That is a lot. And right now it's looking as many as 23 students and the number keeps rising. Went from 21 to 23. That is crazy. I yeah. knew that she was being investigated for like a few. Yeah. I mean the number. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, this stemmed, this stemmed back all the way to September. She was actually taken into custody in front of her husband. They went to her house, arrested her. And even after the arrest, apparently three weeks later, she got back in touch with the student. And there's early rumors now that the baby's daddy, the baby daddy could be as young as uh, maybe even 12. Maybe could be one of the 12-year-olds. Not sure. There's a lot of dudes there. A lot of, a lot of kids. God, I'm, I, right now, um, Alyssa McCommon is facing a rape of a child, aggravated statutory rape by five counts, sexual exploitation by electronic means, four counts, solicitation of a minor to commit an aggravated sex statutory rape, four counts, Statutory rape by an authoritative figure, two counts, and I don't even know what that word is. Coercion. Coercion, excuse me. Of a witness, two counts. Aggravated stalking, two counts. Violation of Child Protective Act, a count. Tampering with evidence and harassment. Apparently she might have even, you know, God, what, the, what in the heck? And it's I like, mean, oh my. I'm not saying it's okay, you know, but I could maybe wrap my head around her maybe with like a, Senior in high school? Yeah. Maybe like maybe, a 16, yeah. 17, 18 and up or something yeah. like that. Still not good. No. Doesn't matter if they're 35 not, years old. It's wrong. It's yeah. wrong. Yeah, you're a teacher. You're an educator. But you took an oath. I mean, my God. As a 12 child. years old? As a child. 13 years old? 14? What? what, what? <laughs> good God. This is crazy. And not just a couple. I mean, 23 now. I mean, this, this, this is nuts. I don't know how she found time with having a family, a job, and a husband. And I mean, where where did she find time? Oh my gosh, we got oh some visitors! Absolutely crazy. We're just doing a podcast. Marcy, come on in. Um, if you've seen the podcast before, you know we got people coming in all the time. Uh, Marcy, how are you doing? Marcy coming in from Gulf Shores, bringing in her beautiful two little Frenchies that I can't wait to meet. Uh, but yeah, it says McCommon appeared in court on Monday to enter a plea of not guilty to all 23 counts. Now, it's saying a grand jury, uh, well, wait a minute, Let me. I might have been wrong about the number of students, but 21. it's 23 counts, but it's saying here that the charges are relate to allegations stemming from five of those victims whose ages range from 12 to 17. We're not really sure about the number of victims, but five of the victims in these particular charges. Okay, but we watched an interview we with did. the chief of police, and she was saying up to 21 to 21 students. students. Yeah, so it's... I mean, the number keeps... It's a lot. Are, it is an active investigation. Yeah, it's 23 counts more WRNG reports, and she entered the courtroom holding what appeared to be a baby bump and smiling in the video by WRNG, uh, but... <laughs> But she did not speak during the proceedings. Her case went to the grand jury after her first alleged victim, who is now 15, took the stand just a few weeks after McCama told him while out on bail that she was pregnant with his child. So the child, uh, the baby daddy, may be 15 instead of, instead of the 12-year-old. Um, but there's also reports that, it, that, that the baby daddy could be the 12-year-old. Oh, it, 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 um, my. They're going to have to do a paternity test to... They're going to get with like three or, the, three or four of the students because this has been going on for some time and now the other males are getting, they're mixing, it's almost like they're mixing up. They got, they got a, a treasure trove of emails. Uh, they, 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 they've got phones. They've got Texas. social media. She's got all five platforms that she's been communicating with them. I mean, this is crazy. This had to be happening in the, in the classroom at some point. Almost a courtroom. That's happening in the yeah, courtroom now. Yeah. Uh, but absolutely stunning. And this, this list, this, this report goes on and on. I don't have... Obviously, the time to keep reading all this. We try to hit the high notes here, but uh, it's absolutely nuts. The investigation into McConnell's began when law enforcement learned that she had been suspended without pay from her position by Tipton County Schools due to the allegations. So they got they got her on uh, they got her on out of there, and um, wow. this again has been going on for the investigation seven months. Probably not learning her lesson though after reaching out again to what, the victims after she. Has got, got out of jail. I mean, it, it's just crazy. So we'll definitely keep you briefed on that. Yeah. Wild, crazy news. Wag of the finger for both of our stories today. Our stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Darren at AK Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel.